and welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download Sentinel-2 images from Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. So, if you are using Open Access Hub, so Open Access Hub is uh, closing at end of October 2023. So, we are going to download the data from Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. So, you can see here Data Space Ecosystem. Open a new tab and just uh, type in Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem and click enter. You can see here data space Copernicus EU. I'll be uh, giving this uh, link in the description. You can just check it out. Now click on this link. So this is how the home page looks like. Now you can see the option explore data and you can uh, come down and uh, you can find the option data collection selected. And uh, below that you can find the option Sentinel 2. After selecting Sentinel 2, uh, you can also find a few information about the Sentinel-2 images about the resolutions, about the swath. Likewise, so now just select the option Explore Sentinel-2 data. So this is the browser where you are going to download the Sentinel-2 uh, images. So first we need to create. Uh, we just need to log in. Select login. So if you don't have the login, it's very easy uh, easy to uh, register and create an account. Uh, you can just create it in 60 seconds. You can find the option register in the below. Click register and you will be asking the few informations like uh, name, uh, last name, email address. You have to uh, enter the password. Once again, confirm the password. Select the country and uh, type of user you are. You can uh, choose any among the uh, any, uh, any among this uh, following. If it isn't there, you can select others. In the uh, thematic activities, here I am going to select land. If you are interested in some other theme, you can just select accordingly and finally purpose of the use you can select accordingly so i'm going to select education and we need to accept the terms and condition if you want to uh, get the informations uses you can select it if you want to uh, give some user service you can also select this and hit the button register after hitting the button register you'll be getting an email like this uh, we need to verify our email address so click on the verify email address and uh, you'll be directed uh, now we just go back to the browser and uh, hit the button login. Now here put your email ID and password. So once you have put the password, hit the button login. Uh, so we have successfully logged in. So this is how the interface looks like. So not uh, it is very uh, user uh, friendly user uh, interface. You don't have to get uh, that much of. Uh, it's not uh, very easy to access the data. Here on the top you can find the option go to place. So here I am going to select the area which I am interested in. So I am going to uh, hit the button search and you can see a uh, few results are appeared. So I am going to uh, select any, any one of this uh, result. So this is my area of interest. So in order to uh, this is the area which I am interested in. So in order to select the area of interest you can see the option over here create create area of interest if you want you can upload select the button and upload uh, you can see the file formats which are available for upload uh, kml kmc gpx wt wkt geojson likewise you can just uh, uh, from your uh, computer browse and upload it if you don't have you can directly draw like you can just select this one use the left click And just click once and after that you can draw a box like this and click to finish click once using left click so we have uh, chosen the area of interest likewise you can do so you can see products are available sentinel 1 2 3 and 5p so here i am interested in sentinel 2 select sentinel 2 and you can choose the cloud coverage percentage so i need it below six percentage so let me select five and finally we need to select the time range so let me select the time range here so let me go to the uh, march months of 2023 select the date with this first and i need it till uh, 4th of november you can also use a uh, filter by months and if you are interested in putting the uh, hours and minutes, you can just use the hours and minutes also. 
Now hit the button search. Within a few minutes, your results will be available. So we are in the search option. We aren't in visualize. Later, I will be making a video on visualize where we can. Uh, uh, in visualize, we can do a lot of indices. So let me show it to you in a separate video. So now you can see here. The results has been come up. And in order to visualize this image, so you can see here visualize, select visualize. This is how the image looks like. This is the image from Sentinel. You can also visualize it using uh, various band combination like uh, NDVI. You can see it is automatically creating the NDVI. Likewise, moisture index. So a lot of indexes available. You can also customize it. That I will be showing you in the next video. So very easy to learn. Now we'll just go back to the search. So here we have uh, visualized this image. So now let me click on this uh, I button in order to view the product. So you can see the products, the image is uh, looking to be clear. You can see uh, the product informations. You can also get the cloud coverage. You can see the cloud cover percentage uh, when the image has been taken. What is the start time? What is the end time? Likewise, information can be found here. Now you can see the option download. If you are interested in this image, you can directly download it. Now you can see here, this uh, started to download. So maximum it might be taking around 5 minutes or 4 minutes based on your internet speed. So let us wait for this uh, download to be completed. So meanwhile you can just see here, some more options are available. You can just draw a line and you can just measure it. For example, you can see here I have already made a area of interest. That uh, you can see the area 534.33 square kilometers. Likewise you can draw the line. Uh, like this you will be getting the measurements and you can mark the point of interest you can just use this uh, button and place it anywhere and uh, you can create a area of interest using this point also so you can see here 43 percent has been completed in visualize you can also visualize uh, various band combinations and indices you can just put indices you can just create the customized indices you can create the land use land cover also that is also available you have to just click and uh, it will be uh, show giving up the land use land cover So you can see here the download has been completed. I just uh, have to save the file. So hit the button save. So uh, download has been successfully completed. So let me go to the option downloads. And here you can see the downloaded file. Let me show it to you in the folder. So this is how the file looks like. Let me extract the file over here. So the file has been successfully extracted. So they are separated based on the resolution of the image 20 meters, 60 meters separately. So now let me show you to in the ArcGIS. So go to the option add data. So this is the file which I have downloaded. Image data. So let me add the 10 meter band first. Band 2, band 3, band 4 and band 8. Let me add it. So you can just see here, this is how the image looks like. Let me zoom into the location. So likewise you can just successfully download the image. So this is the website where we are going to download the uh, Sentinel. Because uh, they have discontinued the open access hub. So we are going to use the Copernicus data space ecosystem. This is the website we are going to download the data. So thanks for watching. So I'll be also making a video about uh, how to visualize this uh, band combinations and how to create band combination using the uh, Copernicus uh, website itself. So thanks for watching. Goodbye everyone.